Hey everybody, I'm Miss Elizabeth from the JC Roston Arboretum. Welcome to this week's virtual garden story time. Have you been noticing something happening outside? Maybe some different colors in the leaves and the trees outside your windows or maybe in your backyards. Maybe when you've been walking through the park, you see all sorts of yellows and oranges and reds starting to appear. Well, if you have, we've got the perfect story to give you some ideas about what you can do with those leaves you've been finding. Come on, let's go read with Miss Sue Ellen. Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to read to you the story of Leaf Man. And this book was written by Lois Ellert, and she's written a lot of books, so you might be able to find them in the library when you get to go. All these leaves are leaves that are around your yard right now. So maybe if you go on a walk, you could find some of them yourself. Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves all around. But yesterday, the wind blew. Leaf Man went away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east, past the chickens. Toward the marsh, over the ducks and the geese, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and over the winter squash. And he flew over the turkeys, past the potatoes, the carrots, and the cabbages all in rows. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards now? or over the prairie meadows. And past the spotted cows. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. Or maybe he's flying along the river. He might even be traveling north, above leaves that look like him. Or flying over the mountains with a flock of birds. When Leaf Man looks down on the earth, is he lonesome for a home? This I do know. Where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a Leaf Man waiting to go home with you. I love this story, but boys and girls, I also love this book. In addition to loving the story, did you notice how every page is different at the top? Let's take a look. See how this page stops with leaves? But if you look all the way back through here, you can see mountains. And each page has a different design at the top. This one is scalloped. See the scallops along the edge of this top? This one is scalloped by the river. This one looks like the rows of somebody's garden where the potatoes and the cabbages grow. This one slants down so you can see all the trees behind up on the mountain. But if you get this book from the library, be sure to look. Look how zigzaggy this page is. 
That's another thing to love about this book besides the story. I hope that you will go on a leaf walk and find some really different, unusual leaves. I really like that story about the leaf. And the fun thing about the book is you can see all the different characters that the leaves make. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you on the website with the, the video is a scavenger hunt that you can print out and take on your next walk and see if you can find some of these leaves and maybe an acorn or a pine cone or some berries. But this is a fun scavenger hunt. So go out on a walk and see, you might not have to go very far if you have a lot of trees in your yard, but find some interesting leaves. And there's a couple of things you can do with them. The first is, you may want to press them because if you want your leaves to be nice and flat, see how some of mine have started to curl up because it's gotten drier and they've curled up. But if you want your leaves nice and flat, find a book or even a pad of paper and just lay them in there so that you can press your leaves. And then you'll have to come back maybe a couple weeks from now when they're all nice and dry and flat and do this activity. But for those of you who are like me and don't really mind having some curly leaves for your project, grab a glue stick and we'll just start creating. And you might want some crayons or some markers or some other art supplies too. And just see what your leaves sort of look like. I thought this one sort of kind of looked like a fish. Do you see it? There's his mouth and he's like swimming in the ocean. So I'm gonna put him down on that piece of paper. I'm gonna make a C. Sort of like, I think there were some fish in the story, weren't there? where it started to go. And see, sometimes it might be hard to put the glue on the leaf. So because I was having trouble, I'm gonna put it on the paper. It's a little crazy, right? We're gonna put it on the paper. And then, oops, I need a little bit more right here. And then I'm gonna draw the water, show that there's water with the fish here. And he looks like he might need like a tail to make him a true fish, right? And we need some, some little air bubbles coming up from our fish. And I think the fish definitely needs an eye. So I'll give him a little eye. If I had a googly eye, that would be fun to like draw, put a googly eye on there. And I feel like it needs like a fin or something. So I think maybe this leaf would make a fun fin. So I'm gonna take that one and add some glue. And some glue sticks might be a little hard for this. The, the school glue, your liquid glue, might be a little bit easier. So if you have that, that might be another thing that you could use to do this project. Because my leaf is curly, it keeps on wanting to come up. But then there's my fish. And I can make other fish too to go along with them if I found some other fish leaves that look like fish. It looks like maybe like a little baby fish. But anyway, go out, collect some different leaves, see what they look like to you and where your creativity and your imagination take you and make some, some friends to go along with Leaf Man. Have fun.